filmed that whole video and then I got on Snapchat and I was snapping and I noticed my eyeliner transferred up here and was like black in this corner. The whole video. So I'm going to put it out there. I'll either put this at the end or at the very beginning as saying, I'm sorry. I <laughs> hope it doesn't bother you. But I can't film again because I just can't want to. So you're going to have to deal with one eye being blacker in the inner corner. And for those of you who didn't notice, I'm just going to throw it out there now so that's all you can look at the whole video. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, welcome back. You probably saw in the thumbnail, we got lice. I'm just going to be 100% real with you. Welcome to my Friday favorites and flops. The reason that I only had one video up this week, if you're a mom and you have kids that are school age, you might have experienced the same thing. One of my daughters came home from school with lice. I freaked out because I obviously, I think there's like a really big stigma around lice. It's obviously gross because it's bugs in someone's hair. And you think, how can this happen? I do my daughter's hair every single day. I comb it up nice and neat. I put it in bows. I put hair ties and nice things and braids and buns and all this kind of stuff in all of my daughter's hair. And I'm knee deep in their hair every single day. How could I have missed something like this? I have learned way more about lice than I've ever wanted to. All three of my girls had lice. I had lice. So, we're a big snuggling family. They snuggle me, they lay in my bed, I use the same hairbrush on all three girls. Sometimes I brush my hair with that brush, so it was inevitable that we would probably all have lice once I found out that one of my children had it. So, any of you guys have experienced lice, it is horrible, literally horrible. I sat and cried. I was devastated just because it was felt so overwhelming of like, how do I get rid of these for good? I spent seven hours the first night trying to figure out how to pick all the, the lice out of the kid's hair and kill the lice and all this stuff. It was horrible, literally horrible. And then you have to disinfect the entire house and clean everything. And basically I'm like, don't look, don't touch, don't breathe, don't smell anyone. Just don't even look at anyone. It was seriously horrible and then my husband, I'm like, you're good for nothing when it comes to, I had to call a friend in to come and check my hair. When all is said and done, we went to a professional. Yes, there is a professional lady in my town that has a professional device that kills all of the lice. It's 100% guaranteed to kill all of the lice and she did does comb outs. So I threw some money at the situation. We got it all taken care of, all three girls and myself. I urge you if you do not know there might be someone in your town who does that as well i do want to just tell you a few things get a good lice comb the knit free comb is the best and it comes in the fairy tales solution which i found at ulta this is the lice goodbye treatment i actually don't like the treatment but the comb comes inside of it i actually don't like the treatment um, because it doesn't kill the lice for the kids but it gives you the best comb um, and this is the this is the comb you need the knit free one is the best to get them all out just fyi and to ward them off for good, they don't like rosemary, so some type of rosemary, peppermint, or tea tree. So that's it about lice if you didn't care, but that's where I've been, you guys, and I just feel like I asked some people, like, do you think I should tell people? But the more people I kind of told who, who like, contacted me on Snapchat, I just kind of told a few of you on Snapchat, like, yeah, we all have lice. True story, it's the true story. And everyone was like, oh, we experienced that too, or oh girl, I know what you're talking about, us too. So I feel like lice is almost like a rite of passage. I never went through it as a child, but um, anyways, we had lice. So if you guys are wanting to know any more of the information that I have figured out about lice, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me down below because I feel like I've become a professional on lice because I just needed it gone. So this is the first day I've really worn makeup since last Thursday because I was feeling sick last week. I didn't wear makeup all through the weekend. I didn't wear makeup at all any day. And so I really haven't worn makeup since today. So I do have some favorites that kind of seeped in from the last week that I didn't include in last week's video that are in this week's video. And um, 
than some products that I used on my face today that I was really loving. So I do have a few favorites for you, but I, because I didn't want this video just to be about all about lace. Anyways, for those of you who don't like long introductions, sorry, you're not gonna like that one. Let's get into the beauty products. First things first, again, I, f I really wanted to do a look with the Makeup Geek Mani palette, Mani MUA palette. I'm so sorry, the reason I didn't was because of the whole lace situation, so that's why I didn't get to d put a tutorial up. I am wearing it again on my eyes today. You guys, this is the only thing I've really been wearing, this and the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly palette. Those are the only things I have worn on my eyes Pretty much the peanut butter and jelly palette, like this whole month, I've worn that. And then this, I haven't, I've worn only this since I got it. I am obsessed with this palette. I love this palette. If you can get your hands on it, definitely do so. Uh, it sold out when it launched, so I'm really sorry about that. I think that they kind of underplanned for how many people are going to be really wanting this palette, but they said they're restocking. I'm going to leave the link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a portion of the sales if you do purchase through the link that I'm going to leave. You guys know I'm always upfront about that, but um, if you are interested in Makeup Geek, um, this palette, or any other Makeup Geek products, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link down below um, just to keep your eye out for it because I know it's going to come back in stock, and you guys, it's seriously amazing. I can't, I literally can't stop, but that is going to be the next video that I have up are some tutorials using that palette because that's what I meant to do this week. So, lip products that I have been loving um, Bite Beauty came out recently with some new lip products. These are called the Amuse Bouche Lipsticks. Bouche Lipsticks? Bouche? Uh, I can't. I can't. I, I don't know how to. But these, I got two colors. Honeycomb and, and Sugar Cane. I have the combination of the two of them on. One's more pink. One is more like a, I would say brownie nude. Honeycomb is like a brownie nude. This color is super beautiful. I love this nude shade. These lipsticks are, Bite Beauty products are all made with natural ingredients. They're food grade ingredients, so you can literally, they're edible. Please don't eat your lipstick, but if you do, which wearing lip product on your mouth, inevitably you ingest lipstick and lip product, so that's why they went ahead and made it with food grade ingredients so that it's safe when it does make it down the hatch sometimes. All I can think of when I say that is somebody like literally being like, huh. Um, this one is sugar cane and it's more of a pink. I love both of them. I love the smell of these. The one thing I will say is since these are made with food grade ingredients, the shelf life on Bite Beauty lipsticks aren't as long as some other lipsticks. You can really smell when they do go bad. So I would say a year and a half is the most you're gonna get out of it. For someone who has a lot of lip products like I do, it's just a noticeable thing. You go and grab it like when it's in its rotation, which <laughs> let's be honest, I have way too many lip products. So you go to grab it and it smells bad and you're like, dang it, I only wore that like a couple times. But for someone who is just really looking for a great everyday color, um, you probably won't have a problem with the fact that a year and a half is the shelf life. But I did just want to mention that because, um, you know, they just don't have any preservatives in them to carry them over, which that sucks. That I'm actually allergic to the preservatives in some lip products. Like if a lipstick has gone bad, my lips will swell up. So it's funny that I still have like lips products that I still keep continue to buy lip products because like why I already have so many I don't know I have problems that's for another video another lip product that I've been loving uh, Buxom came out with some new big and healthy lip creams I love these this white Russian is like one of my favorite colors ever. They came out with this new color called Peach Daiquiri, which I do have on top of this lip combo. These give a little bit of a minty, tingly feeling. Nothing that's going to be too dramatic, but I just wanted to let you know if you don't like that tingle feeling. This gives it a little bit, but it's more of like a minty, fresh tingle. Nothing burning sensation whatsoever. This is a perfect, like, nude color. I would say we're more where white... <laughs> White Russian is more of a pink nude. This is like a true, like light nude peach, uh, creamy nude. So that's it right there. I love it in the combination that I'm wearing right now with those two Bite Beauty lipsticks, this on top. This is just beautiful over a lip liner. It gives that shine. 
has that minty feeling and just like a really nice glossiness to it. So really been enjoying that. One last favorite, this blush was something that I have been using and pulling out and I meant to include it in my last week favorites, but I was talking about the Lorac blushes last week, which I've been loving those. I seriously think that the, the color range in those is amazing and I really love the formula. And a lot of you guys said that you picked up some of those blushes after the video and you were loving them too. So I think Lorac did a great job. But a little bit more of a pricey product is a blush from Tom Ford. I know that this is not in everyone's budget, but if you've been wanting to treat yourself, you know that one thing where you're like, I am really gonna spend this amount of money and I'm gonna treat myself for a luxury product, go for this blush. This is such a beautiful color. It's what I'm wearing today, Ravish. It's so pretty. I talked about this as being one of my favorites um, in my Tom, I have a full Tom Ford video where I swatch a bunch of the products and I show my favorites. I think I swatch all of them. It has like this, you can't even see, but it's almost like this pink shift to it, but it's like a bronzy, orangey peach with this pink shift. I love it. I haven't been able to find anything that dupes this. It's one of the most beautiful blushes of such a beautiful formula. Let me get a better, like, fuller swatch so that I, you, I can show you the color a little bit more accurately. I just think that this color is like so, I don't know if you can see like the pink shift to it. Okay, and now for a flop product. You guys, I really wanted to love this and I was so excited about it. But I ordered the Dose of Colors Lip Glosses. Now I love their liquid lipsticks. I love the formula of their liquid lipsticks. This is the Gloss Rose and although it is the Rose, Although this is the most beautiful color ever, it's a super gritty formula. Like it literally has grit pieces in it. I don't even, you can even see that on the swatch. It's opaque, but it has like these grit pieces in it. And I don't even remember it necessarily looking like this when I've seen swatches. It's super pigmented, but it has these like, little small particles in it, but they're not like reflective particles or anything. The shine on this is like, if someone doesn't like a tacky gloss, they might love this, but the shine on this almost doesn't last. This almost feels like a satin liquid lipstick. The color payoff and everything, it does not feel like a gloss at all. And it kind of dried out my lips. Like it's a very thin formula not tacky whatsoever and then the color just kind of it stayed on my lips but it almost like the shine went away within I would say 10 minutes and it was just pure color but it was like dry and like got crusty on my lips so I don't I don't like that at all I just think there are way better glosses out there I love the color I loved it so much and so I was really really disappointed in that because I wanted it to be more of like a glossy feel have a little bit of tackiness to like just stay on the lips at least a little bit but the formula was just a no-go for me so that was my flop for the week I haven't had a flop in a really long time so my flop is having lice and that lip gloss so the lace is probably the worst. That's the worst. Anyone who's probably like, I swear there's going to be someone who's like, you're friggin' disgusting. We're talking about your lace. Go ahead, cross your eyes, leave the comment below if you think I'm gross. I know there's such a stigma around lice, but you know what I found? Lice does not know who you are. They do not care if you're clean or anything like that. They like to go to clean hair, actually. They crawl on your head no matter who you are or no matter whose child or daughter or son you are. They do not care. They crawl on your head no matter how much money you have or how much money you don't have. It's all about the treating of it. So just saying, just going to go ahead and put that out there to just cross off the stigma and just throw it on out there. And hopefully some of you caught it and caught some good information. And those of you who are grossed out by lice, you probably hate me now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and an even better week. Leave your comments down below unless they're cross-eyed comments that are mean. Just kidding. You can leave your mean comments if you want to. I love all of you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.